there guys, welcome to the meat shop. Thanks for clicking on. This video is part of a special video series inspired by you guys. I've been asked before for a recipe or sausage book, which I don't have, so I thought I would share my favorite book with you, which is Home Production of Quality Meats and Sausage by Stanley and Adam Marinsky. It is my favorite book. I think it's got great information in there for beginners and experts alike. And uh, to celebrate my favorite book, I reached out to Stanley Marinsky and he gave me permission to do Marinsky March. So we're going to do a recipe out of this book every day of March. And all the recipes and all the processes are right out of the book, which will be in the link below. That is, a link to the book will be in the description down below. So, without any further ado, let's get into Marinsky March. Hello and welcome to another day of Marinsky March where every day in March we've been making a recipe out of home production of quality meats and sausage by Adam and Stanley Marinsky. And today's sausage, whatever day it is in March, is going to be the Moscow sausage. It's a Russian sausage. It's on page 262. Not a big description on this one. It is a hot smoked version of the Moscow sausage, which was originally cold smoked and not cooked. So there's quite a few recipes like that in the book here. And maybe as time goes on and I get some free time, I'll do all the slow dried versions of these sausages. But today it's the hot smoked version, which is beef and pork back fat or pork trimmings. So that's what I have here today, guys. A little beef on this side, pork back fat on the other side. It's going to have a coarse texture on the lean beef and then the fat, it says to cut manually into quarter inch cubes. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run them through the grinder. I'm gonna mix the spices into my meat only and then at the end, I'm just gonna toss the fat in. I made a, another sausage, uh, also a Russian sausage, which has a really similar uh, ratio to this one called the Russian hot smoke sausage. And I mixed the fat in after I did it, I regretted it. I mixed it in and uh, that one had a little bit of brandy in it. So it required a lot of extra mixing to get protein extraction. I ended up smearing the fat a little bit. So this time I'm gonna grind that fat separate and just toss it in after I've got my protein extraction where I want it. But step number one is going to be to grind these guys. They're fresh out of the cooler. They're nice and cold, right close to zero. So we're gonna run them, they should run through the grinder, no problem. Okay, so we'll just sand our pork fat through first here. Pork fat and pork trimmings, page 262, following that recipe. Uh, this guy's got some potato starch in it. I had to track that down for this, so I've never used potato starch in the recipe, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. I'm just gonna run this fat through on a coarse plate uh, once here and then a fine plate the second time. So we'll keep that back. Run it through the fine plate, then toss it in. But this beef, it's only getting one grind. One coarse grind. So it's gonna be a two texture sausage. All right. There's our beef ground up. I'll show you guys what we've done. There's our two piles. So that's gonna be the final texture for the beef. This stuff, we're gonna fire through one more time. All right, got the fine plate on there now. The, I got a five millimeter plate on there, I think, in the book it says for six. So it's gonna be really close, close enough for me anyways. We'll fire that up, run it through bit by bit. Okay, there it is guys, nice and easy and quick. I'm just gonna keep it up here out of the way so that I can mix my spices and stuff into the beef. And then like I said, I'm just gonna toss that fat in after so I don't end up smearing it again. Yes, so I got the spices mixed up here. Not, uh, not an overly fancy one, but it will be good, I'm thinking. I've noticed it with uh, spending this time doing Marinsky March that some of these simple sausages are the best. The Romanian sausage in this book. So, Moscow's not too far from Romania, right? I don't know my geography. All right, so I'm just tossing the meat around, getting the spices evenly distributed on the beef here. Then we'll measure out a bit of water. 200 milliliters, because we're doing a two kilogram batch. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but 
two kilograms, we're just gonna be 10% water, so we need 200 milliliters. 199 will do. Put that on there and mix our hearts out. Smelling good already, even though it's just, what is it? One, two, three, four ingredients. It smells good. Oh, that potato starch made it stick really quick. It's got lots of protein extraction in here. It's gonna add a starchy flavor to it, I think. All right, look at that. That was in no time flat we got that protein extraction. Now I'm just going to toss this fat in loosely so we don't end up smearing it. I could have froze it again, put it back in the cooler. That also would have helped because it, it gains a couple degrees every time you run it through the grinder. Then we'll be able to see the particle difference, the particulation in the sausage without smearing the fat. Perfect. Now I didn't mix that too aggressively, so I'm going to pop this in the cooler for a couple hours and uh, that will allow the cure to penetrate into the pork and stuff here because there's no cure accelerators. And then we'll stick it in the sausage stuffer, stuff it and take it through a nice smoke cycle to a fully cooked temperature. All right guys, so the Moscow sausage has had a little bit to marinate in the cooler. Now we'll get it loaded into the sausage stuffer. And all I'm going to do guys is I'm going to take a big handful, load it in here and then push it down to get the air pockets out. All right, it's loaded up into there guys. So what we're going to do is stuff it into these fibrous casings, 50 millimeter fibrous casings. And I just soak them in water. You know, you can just soak them like literally two minutes before you want to get started. I threw them in before we started grinding. So they've been soaking for a while. But you just leave it on the horn. It says to stuff firmly, so you grip tightly around here till the sausage comes out the end, the pre-tied end. There we go. And just keep a nice firm grip on it. Until the sausage casing is nice and full. There we go. And I leave myself a little tail at the end to tie off later. The second one out. All right. Next one should be just about a full one, I think. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Perfect amount. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice already, guys? Ooh, ah. Oh. And then just a little bit to tie off at the end. So what I'll do is, I got a little bit of sausage in there. I'll squeeze it down to the end of the casing there. Let me see, squeeze it down. And then take a string and tie that end good and tight because this sausage is going to want to expand a bit as it gets cooked. So I just give it a good tight double knot. Not so tight that you can rip through these sausage casings, but just a nice double knot, and there we are. Ready to air dry, then head to the smoker. All right, there they are. They're just gonna hang out there for an hour till they're good and dry. Then we'll fire up the smokehouse, uh, get them smoking until they get a nice deep red tint to them, and then bring the temperature up. I'm also gonna add a couple more sausages to that by the time the day's done. Okay guys, so our kosher Moscow and Russian hot smoke sausages have been sitting in the smokehouse for about an hour. I just popped these Yadgurs in with them. And uh, now I popped in the, the chips just a little bit ago here. They're just starting to smoke. So we're gonna smoke them for about two hours until they develop a nice red color. And then we're gonna bring them up to, I think it says 155 in the book. All right guys, the Moscow sausage has been in the smokehouse for a total of four and a half hours now. Uh, so it should have, when we crack this sucker open because uh, the smokehouse alarm just went off, it should have a nice mahogany, kind of bright cherry red color to it. So let's open it up and have a look. All right guys, first look here. Ooh, look at those guys. Doesn't that look awesome? Okay, there's the first look at the Moscow sausage. Looks beautiful, plump, red, a little bit of gloss on it, so I got a feeling it's nice and juicy in there. So we better get it into the water bath to make sure we keep that juice in the sausage. All right, guys, so I got a couple we pulled out of the smokehouse there all together. We're just gonna give them a nice rinse, cool them down, stop that cooking. 
I still got them all on the stick so I know which one's which, but I'm just gonna rinse them off for a few minutes, stop that, cool them down right away, and then we're gonna pop them into the cooler. All right, so I just pulled them out of that little water bath I'd been spraying them with. I'm just gonna let them drip dry in the cooler overnight and we'll dive into them first thing in the morning. All right, we're at the best part of the episode where we get to dive in and eat to th these Moscow beef sausages. Do our review on the Marinsky March. But uh, next day here, guys, man, they look so lovely. They're nice and firm and full, no wrinkles on them. I mean, look at that. How about that for color, appeal, no wrinkles, nice and firm. All right, all right, let's dive into one of these guys. I'll get you a cross section here. My first look at it. Mmm, smells good. Give you a look. How about that? The Moscow sausage looking pretty good. We better dive in and see if it tastes as good as it looks. All right, so with these uh, fibrous casings, guys, you can peel them off of the whole sausage casing if you wish. Sometimes it helps just to make a little mark down your sausage and you kind of peel down and away and you shouldn't lose too much of your sausage to the casing. Okay, so we got our sausage casing off without too much waste. Time to dive into our first bite here of the Moscow sausage. Looks really good. Nice protein extraction. Mmm. Real nice dense texture, subtle flavors. Yeah, that potato starch kind of pops out. It's a little bit different. You can kind of like make note of that versus the normal binders I use. But yeah, that's really good. I think uh, that's one everyone would enjoy. Nice, mild, only a few ingredients, really cool textures. Another thumbs up from Marinsky March. Yep. But anyways, guys, this wraps up the Moscow Sausage episode of Marinsky March. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm going to do a video like this every day in March for Marinsky March. Thanks for watching.